Good morning and welcome to Christchurch Chorley Woods Daily Reflection on Wednesday, July the 15th. My name's Gordon and I'm going to look at Isaiah chapter 40, verses 6 to 8. A voice says, cry out. And I say, what shall I cry? All men are like grass and all their glory is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall, because the breath of the Lord blows on them. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of our God stands forever. For many of us, the pandemic has reminded us that we have roots. In this instance, I'm not referring to our own personal or family histories, but to our hair. A week or two ago, radio chat shows were full of callers bemoaning the lack of hairdressing facilities, some saying that they didn't dare step out of their front doors in case the neighbours saw their roots. As a student in my early 20s, I grew a beard, which was as dark as the hair that came down to my shoulders. During the recent lockdown, I thought it might be interesting to see what would grow on my chin when almost no one else would see it. <clears throat> I suppose I shouldn't have been surprised, with my 60th birthday coming up during the next month, that the result was whiter than I might have expected. I've kept it on as an illustration for this reflection, but let me assure you it'll be going soon. In its natural state, our hair reminds us that, as we get older, we're like withering grass and falling flowers. This reminder comes to us when we're younger as well. Most sportsmen and women are at the height of their sporting prowess in their late 20s and early 30s. Jack Charlton, who sadly died last weekend, was almost 30 when he joined the England team. As a player, his glory days came over the next five years and he was an integral part of the 1966 World Cup winning team. But in recent times, his flower faded with illness and dementia, and sadly, it fell last weekend. Jack Charlton was born four years before the beginning of the Second World War. <clears throat> During the 1940s, convoys of troops and cargo were brought across the Atlantic to support the war effort. These ships were supported by naval vessels to ward off the U-boats that tried to sink them. The latest Tom Hanks film, Greyhound, attempts to bring this period of the war to life. In the film, Hanks is the newly promoted captain of a convoy, negotiating five days in the Atlantic with no air cover. He's a devout man, stopping in front of his crew to thank God for every meal and praying at his bunk in quieter moments. Beside the bunk, he carries a plaque inscribed with the words from Hebrews 13, verse 8. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. As captain of the convoy, Hanks clearly expected God to guide him, even in the toughest of times. He holds on to the promises made in God's word. Isaiah reminds us that whilst we may be like grass and the flowers of the field, God's word stands forever. In an uncertain, changing world where our physical powers wane and our glory fades and falls, God's word remains the same yesterday and today and forever. In Psalms, God's word is described as a lamp for our feet and a light for our paths. Amy Grant uses these words in the song that will come up after today's reflection. Now let's pray. Our Father God, <clears throat> in a world that has changed through the ages and has seen more dramatic change than ever this year, your word remains constant. Help us to study, consider and remember it when we are experiencing both times of delight or despair. 
Amen.